Hey everybody, I'm Timmy Tabiscus, and if English class has taught me anything, it has taught me that you need to analyze symbolism in every word of every moment of absolutely everything you watch, read, or listen to. It is for this reason that today I will be analyzing Damn Daniel, aka Back at it again with the white fans! Now that the hype is over and uh, saying damn Daniel in public is now enough to get you murdered, let's watch this video critically and find the truth behind the white vans. I've been watching this video like it's Citizen Kane and the things I've discovered may blow your mind. Let's start out with the fact that within this entire video there is not a single woman or person of color. I feel like this was a creative decision by the makers of the video in order to highlight the lack of representation of women and people of color in the media. Yet we still think we've come a long way. But anyway... The biblical definition of damn is to be condemned by God, to suffer eternity burning in hell. Daniel, as a name, means God is my judge. We put these together as a phrase, damn Daniel, and we have somebody being sent to hell Why God stands by and judges the damning from 1 to 10. In the video, we see Daniel 9 times, so this is obviously symbolizes that you will get a 9 out of 10 damning if you're ever back at it again with the white vans. <laughs> the white vans. I'm sure you're all asking the question, why white? Why not black vans or Mexican vans? Well, the answer is simple. Vans are large motor vehicles used to carry heavy loads. What are the loads in the case of Damn Daniel? Privilege. Heavy, heavy loads of privilege carried in the shiny new vans of this Caucasian high school student. The shoes aren't black because African Americans don't have vans full of privilege. I doubt if they even have go-karts full. It is outrageous how much everyday racism is ingrained in today's society, and I'm sure highlighting this issue was the creator's intention. But, although these creators were trying to highlight the social issues of modern day, there is something else in the video that you may not have noticed. Something more in the face of the story between Daniel and his narrator. A relationship you may not have foreseen. As you see in this clip, Daniel is wearing a shirt with cursive writing on it. What's the definition of cursive, you ask? Well, writing with characters joined. So it's obvious that the characters of Daniel and his narrator are joined in some way. But how, you ask? Well, as confirmed by Daniel on Ellen, he is 14. You're 14 years old. I'm, four, I'm a freshman at Poly High wow. School, yeah. And on the fifth clip of the Damn Daniel video, Daniel isn't wearing a backpack. What's 14 plus 5? 19. Also in the same clip, we see three stripes on his pant leg. Three times two for two legs is six. What do the numbers 6 and 19 have to do with anything, huh? Well... <laughs> the 19th of June is Father's Day, and it is through this evidence, plus the fact that in this clip, Daniel is avoiding eye contact and sitting down, otherwise known as the naughty steps, I conclude that the emotional tale of Daniel and his white vans is a story about father and son. That's right, the narrator is Daniel's dad. Good God, isn't it beautiful? Thank you everyone for discovering the real truth about Damn Daniel with me. Remember, never watch anything at face value and always find symbolism where the creators definitely did not intend to place it. I'm Timmy Tabiscus. Remember to like and subscribe. <laughs> I'm out, guys. Bye. <laughs>